Good morning. I'm heading off to pick up Crystal and we're going to check out another waterfall today. So another little hike through the woods and check out another waterfall. So today it is Phantom Falls, which is supposed to be a really big waterfall. And it's up in Upper Muscadabba. So that's where we're heading today and we'll get some footage and you'll be able to check that waterfall out. Okay, see you later. I picked up Crystal and we headed to Upper Muscadabit and you want to get to where Highway 224 and 336 meet. Head about another four kilometers down 336 and you'll come to a dirt road on the right. We think we might be here but we're not really sure. What do you think Crystal? I think we might be here. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. There's some paths everywhere. There's absolutely no signs. There's absolutely no flags or markers, so we may be in completely wrong place, but we're going to check it out anyway. All right, okay, we're going to start our, uh, how many kilometers do we think it is? 3.3. 3.3, and we're off! I think we found a trail marker. <laughs> a waterfall marker. A pink waterfall marker. Waterfall. More markers, so we think we're on the right trail. It's kind of nice having this logging road at both the waterfalls, at least for the first part of the walk. All these <coughs> trees look like little shelters. So if we get stranded out here, look, we can sleep right under there. <laughs> I can't believe it's snowing. Just hiking in the snow, in a blizzard. Bigger trucks use this bridge, it's a little uh, <laughs> sketchy. Right, we're going to keep going up the path here a little further and see if we can find some more markers. So we're going in the right direction. Right after the bridge, we haven't seen any markers since the bridge, so if you're looking for markers on this hike, they may be gone. But we just continued up this road. mistake to turn left we came back out and came straight up the road for literally five more seconds found the parking area to the right here and clearly marked Phantom Fall That was very clearly marked. Yes. However, we did not follow instructions very well, but it is very clearly marked. <laughs> Do what they say you're going to get. <laughs> It's getting louder. 
excited. I can hear it. Oh my gosh. Wow. Somebody put some ropes in here so we can climb down. <laughs> All right. Rope. There's another rope over there to go down that way. Holy crap. That's a waterfall. How would you ever get out to get a good picture here? Second falls! Phantom falls. Huge! Enjoy some lunch. Enjoy the fall. Much of a, a path here. So. A little uh, bushwhacking. Woo! Freeze.
<laughs> We're gonna attempt an another one of these river crossings. <laughs> one day we have to make one. <laughs> we haven't done very well, and I mean, this one looks totally uh, doable, but what do you do? Climb across my butt. On the other side. Oh. Yeah, maybe here. <laughs> we made it across this one and that one. Now we gotta try and get through here. I don't know why, we were just trying to get to the other side. Let's see what happens. Upstream. This is a big, big, big tree. Falls up there. Fall huh. set. Back. Back to the falls. A little break. And we're gonna start hiking back soon. I'm just heading over here to the outhouse. Not too bad. It brings you down. It's a little landing here where you can kind of see the falls. There's another rope over here we didn't attempt. Not sure where it goes. Hang on. Can you see how how high up we are here? And uh, we're just kind of on the edge, walking. And there's another rope here. Probably okay. But you wouldn't have much of a view of the falls because you're behind that big tree, I think. Go back up the rope. through the woods. Goodbye Phantom Falls. You were well worth the hike. Back to the logging road. So yeah, I don't think you'd want to actually drive in here, but to hike even from the main road wouldn't be that yeah. far into here. No. All right. So, path, sign, come up this road, parking area, Ta-da!
I assume it was dumped here because I don't think it's not natural. But there's a big mountain of it up here a little further. Could be. It's something you mine like that house. Yeah. Does it smell like anything? Is it rock? Yeah, it might be some sort of rock. Let's look at the bigger package when we get up there. <laughs> Because really, what is this stuff? <laughs> it's up there. Yeah, but this is like this huge mountain of it. What is it? What do we call it? Not Mount Rushmore, it would be Mount Phantom Falls. <laughs> Just this little random off spot here. Wow, it's like really sunny. Yeah. Oh, look at the ducks. Geese. Geese? I'd park here in this little clearing. Down this road, past the salt cliff, or granite cliff, or what do we think it is? Uh, we don't know. White cliff, past the big white mountain. Yeah. And it's probably about 10 minutes to the bridge, 10 to 15 minutes tops to the bridge. You go over the bridge, keep kind of veering to the right on the road, go another 10 to 15 minutes up that road and you're going to come to a little clearing on the right with a sign that says Phantom Falls. We did the hike, we're back in the car, now we're going to head back to the city. It was a fabulous day and those falls are well worth seeing. Huge! Huge! So off the main road, I did come down the dirt road a little bit, probably a few hundred meters and parked. Um, then we followed the logging road past the big white mountain, over the bridge, and up the road a little bit farther to the right, and then there's a big sign, Phantom Falls Through the Woods.